everybody, it's Kathy, and welcome to today's Total Body Strength Workout. So for today's Total Body Strength, um, I would like you to have some heavy hand weights if you have them. An assortment always, but even some heavier, I want you to kind of push the envelope if you have some heavier weights um, for our beginning um, sequence. It's going to be a uh, nine-minute EMOM, every minute on the minute. Um, we're also going to be working with some tubing, some banding. Um, so these are looped bands that I'm going to be working with today. This one's a little smaller and a little narrower. And this one's a little wider. Um, we're going to be using it for some of our strength work as well as some banded work on our legs and um, thighs. All right, if you do not have a looped band, for some of the exercises, the arm exercises, will be, you could use a resistance tubing if you have it. Or quite simply, just go into your garage and grab um, a bungee, okay? So that'll work for some of the arm moves, some of them. So some of the moves you won't be able to do with a band, but you can simulate them without one. Um, you'll still get benefits, especially when we get down and we do some of the legs and the glutes. Um, you will still feel the uh, benefits of the exercises with or without a band, okay? So don't, don't uh, abandon ship because you don't have a band. All right, so with that said, let's get started with our warm-up. So we're going to go into a squat knee. You got uh, 10 of them right here. Let's go. Squat knee. Squat, knee, good, we got eight more, seven more, six more, five more, four more, three more, two more, squat kick, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. You're gonna give me one squat, one squat, TBX on your toes. One squat, one squat, TBX on your toes, arms up. Good, up, reach on those toes. Like you're driving, like you're gonna jump, but you're not, come on, down, up. Good, explode, reach, lift through those heels. Perfect. Keep breathing. Hup. Strong. You got a couple more here like this. Nice work. Now you're just gonna give me the regular squats here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to TBX here. So it's squat, hoop. So reaching up, driving on those tip toes. You got it. Breathe it out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're just going to hang with those arms, top end. Up, up, good. Up, down, up, down. Reach. Reach. Feel your lats here in the back of your arms working. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're just gonna go into a lunge. You're gonna give me a knee hug. Lunge, switch, lunge, hug, lunge, switch, lunge. Pull it into your chest. Step it back and switch, good. Lunge, hug, lunge, switch, lunge, hug, lunge, switch. Good work, lunge. Depending upon the time we have left at the end here, I might throw in some foam rolling stretches at the very end for our cool down. So if you have a foam roller, that would be a nice addition, but it all depends on where we're at in the time frame here. Keep going, breathe it out. Here's your last one. Up, down and switch. Yep, down and switch, nice. And you're just gonna reach and tap. Big arm reach overhead, stretch, stretch, stretch. Pivot with those feet. Awesome, we're gonna change the arms to a hook. It's a straight arm. Pull across, pull across, pull across. Yep, all right, we're gonna change those arms again. Four, three, 
two, now you're just gonna punch it down. Punch, 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 punch. Come on, really activate those arms. Switching back to the overhead in four, three, two, one. Here we go, reach, 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 reach. Come on, nice and strong. Good job, four more here. Four, three, two, hook it. Straight arm, pivot strong, reach across. Add your breath, guys. Four more from here for four, three, two, punch it down. Punch, 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 punch. Good work for eight, seven, six, five. Roll that shoulder, four, three, two, one. We're just gonna shuffle, tap it down. Nice, easy shuffle, sit those hips back and tap. Good. Some strong guys. Shuffle and tap, down and out. Breathe, looking good. We're gonna go into four more. Four, three, two. Nice work in one. Now we're gonna just inchworm one time out. You're gonna inchworm out. You're gonna be four leg taps to the side. You're gonna be four plank lifts to the sky. Then you're gonna inchworm back Touch your toes and inchworm right back out. So you're gonna stay in the inchworm. You're not coming back to upright position. All right, meet me down on the floor. Here we go, inchworm out. Control, plank position. Tap your legs four times. One, two, three, four. Glute lift, four, three, two, one. Walk your hands back, hook your hips. Come all the way to your toes, stretch. Walk it back. Good, plank position, tap. So before you tap, I want you to come in a strong plank. Four lifts, four, three, two, one. Walk it simply back to your toes. Forward fold, walk it back. So when you're in that forward fold, feel the stretch in your legs. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Lift, four, three, two, one. Walk back. Good work, fold, forward fold here. Walk it out, this is your last one, so we're gonna supersize them for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight lifts for eight, seven. Lift with that heel, six, glute that booty. Four, three, two, one. Walk it back, hike those hips, stay into that forward fold. Let your fingers just dangle here and slowly pull your body up. Roll the shoulders. Then we're gonna practice a move that we're gonna do later called a windmill. All right, so we're gonna go into a straddle position here. Roll those shoulders, grab an inhale, all right. So your toes are gonna be slightly facing one direction. One hand is gonna to be to the sky. You're gonna pop your hip. So this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have a weight in your hand if you can't. Otherwise, we will go to a weight on the, on the bottom hand. Keeping that hip popped, Eye in the sky, you're gonna lower down to where your body says it's comfortable and come back up. Down and up. Yeah. I want you to really practice this. Pop that hip, pull that hip out. Now you don't want your feet too wide, but you don't want them narrow here. So you wanna step it out so you've got a comfortable wider than hip width stance. Let's do a couple more. Good. Let's do one more. With a weight in your hand, you're gonna to need to keep that weight nice and strong. Come back up, flip those feet to the other side, slightly angle it up. Here we go. Forgot to add that hip pop. So pop the hip like you're doing a selfie. Here we go. Head up to the sky. Feel what's going on here. This is an amazing exercise, even without a weight. Two more. Perfect, you got one more. Awesome, and come up, roll those shoulders, give yourself a nice big stretch here. I'm gonna turn my fan on. Let's just really roll back. So I want you to keep to the back end of these rolls right here, just pushing backwards. Good, now roll it forward. Perfect, bring those arms up, press them forward. Look down at your shoelaces, let that head flop down. Bring your gaze back up, take both elbows, pull them back. Grab an inhale, exhale, come into a heel dig here. We're just gonna sink down, push your hips back, 
Feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Awesome. All right, we're going to come into the other side, hip down. Now we do have some single leg RDLs. So in the beginning, I want you just to kind of get comfortable with them. All right, slowly come on up. All right, shake out those legs. All right, I want you to grab the heaviest weight you can go with. Um, so let me explain what we got here first, and then um, you can go from there. Now I am going to go with some 20s here. So we're going to go into regular bicep curls. You're going to do as many as you can in the 10 to 12 rep range. So if you have the heaviest weights that you can handle, 10 reps should be enough and you should feel them. If you have maybe not so heavy, do 12 reps. And then you're gonna go right into a single leg RDL, which is just tapping down, hinging forward, you're gonna come up with one leg, and then you're just gonna switch. You're gonna do that till the time runs out. So levels, you can have a toe down, you can hinge down, come up and stand, and then quite simply exchange legs, or you can actually just go into that single RDL controlling. You will be alternating legs till the timer goes off. Then you will be going into a squat, row, and stand for 10 or 12 reps. Remember what I said about your weights, if they're super, super heavy, 10 reps is gonna be enough. Then you're gonna go right into those single leg RDLs. That weight stays super close to your body till time runs out. Then you're gonna go into military presses. 10 of them, if your weight is super heavy like mine, or you'll do 12 if you've got a medium weight. All right, so we're gonna be doing three full rounds of those, back to back to back to back. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of recovery. All right, so let me shoot my timer on. We are starting with your heavy bicep curls, okay? As heavy as you can go, all the way down, all the way up, controlled, and then right into your single leg RDLs. Here we go. I'm doing 10. Nine. Eight. Like I said, I have 20s here. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come on now. And one. Now those single leg RDLs. You're going to go until I tell you. You got about 20 seconds. Slow and controlled. Head stays in neutral. You go at your own pace. So maybe you were still doing your 10 or 12, or maybe you were faster than me. Single leg. I want you to take your time and control. And recover. Hold on a second here. Noticing that my timer is giving me too much time here. Hold on. All right, so we have got to change up something here. Apologize for the mix up here, but I noticed that my rep, re, I can't speak, my rest cycle was only, was 15 seconds and I don't want 15 seconds. All right. All right, we're good to go now. All right, so you got a little extra something, something there. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the 50 seconds of work. You're going into a squat, row, and stand. 10 to 12 of those, and then right into your single leg RDLs. Here we go. Squat, row, stand. Two for me, and stand. Three, and stand. Up, four. Six, I'm gonna stay with my 20s. Oh, seven, eight. Come on, all right. If you have heavy weights, you're feeling these. 10, single leg RDL. Keep that head and neck neutral. Keep those weights on either side of your foot. Don't let them come forward. Control is the name of the game, even if you get two of these, I don't care. Come all the way up before you switch and recover. Okay, now we're going into military press. 10 of these. I'm staying heavy and then back to your RDLs before we go back to the biceps. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Ooh, those 
are heavy. All right, single RDL. Control. Don't let your body roll forward. Sinking. You're hinging, guys, so it's not a squat, but your knee is soft. So hinging from the hips. Weight stay on either side of your foot. You're using the posterior chain, your low back. Your lats are working here. Tons of core. Awesome. Okay. Woo, we're going into our bicep curls. Remember, 10 if it's super, super duper heavy. 12 if you're in the middle range. All right, medium range. Here we go. 10. Seven, no swinging. Six, five, four, three. Now I'm counting me. Two, but you do you. RDL. Watch your neck and head. So as you come down, that head neck stays in alignment. All right, don't let it tip. I want you to really focus. Ten seconds left. I got about one second here. Up. All right. You're going into your squat rows. You're rowing at the very bottom of your squat. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Squat, row, and stand. Oh, squeeze. Two. Two more. Yikes. Nine. Woo, harder than it looks, right? Oh, let's go. Got 19 seconds here. So I got about six here in that 19 seconds. All right, you're going into military press next. Oh, woo, five seconds. Military press and then you'll have one more round like that, guys. Here we go. Up, control, stack your stance if you need to. down. RDLs, I got 25 seconds left. Remember, don't let that head come forward. If you want, count how many RDLs you get. Oh, I'm going to go one more. Oh, that was choppy. So that was eight. All right, guys, your last time through like that. Biceps RDLs, squat row RDL, military press. Here we go, 10. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Are you lucky to have really heavy weights? Four. Come on. Three. Two. Uh, RGLs, 28 seconds for me. Uh, now your weights don't have to touch the floor. You only want them to go where you're going to get that full range of motion and then slowly control your body up. Uh, you should be really feeling a lot of posterior chain work going, your hamstrings, your glutes. Oh. Wow, those weights are heavy. All right, you got your last round of squat rows. RDLs to finish off that 50 second set. Here we go. Hips down. Breathe. Think about 
those elbows coming back. If you don't put your mind into that muscle, you're missing out. Come on. even deeper so it's taking me a little longer. Who are the else? I only have 15 seconds here. So I went deeper so it took a little longer. Ooh. Oh. Woo! All right. We've got our last round like this. Military RDLs. Ooh, here we go. Eight, seven, lock those abs. Six, woo, five, four, my dog is three, two, he's shaking the screen. Oh, one, Ozzy, and one. All right, back to RDLs. RDLs, guys. My goodness. RDLs. I was gonna knock over my screen. Come on. I know a lot of you are big Ozzy fans, but oh, I don't know what I would have done if he knocked over my screen. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I'm an Ozzy fan too, but trust me, that dog needs CBD. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So you're done with that? Sort of. <laughs> All right, so grab some water. All right, so we are going to go into a finisher here. So you're going to try to do 30 seconds, as many as you can, heavy, as heavy as you can. Now, if you have to alternate, you alternate. So we're going to do bicep. We're going to do back. Then you're going to do squats. All right, then we'll do military press. So you've got four of them. Then you're going to finish with a minute of RDLs on the right side, a minute of the RDLs on the left side. Yeah, it sounds a little intimidating, but it's not going to be so bad. All right, so I want you to pick up the heaviest weights you got, guys. All right, so we're going right into bicep curls, only 30 seconds. Slow and steady, alternate arms if you need to. In three, two, one. Now, I don't care how many you do. Well, I do. <laughs> but I want you to really focus on your form here. Oh. Come on, eat out a couple more. One more if you can, come on. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. So now you're just going to give me rows. All right. So double rows if you can, alternate rows if you can. Then we're just going to go into regular squats. 30 seconds. Bend the knees, flat back. Here we go. Oh, good. 15 seconds to go. I'm proud of you. Come on. Here's your last three, two. Don't drop your weights. You're going right to squats. Come on. Squeeze those glutes and stand. Dynamic. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. Eight seconds. Last two. Last one. Okay. Wow. All right, we're going right into militaries. So remember, alternate 
You're going with your heavy weights. 30 seconds, stay with both if you can, or go to singles. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Okay. Let's go. Military press, 30 seconds. Stabilize it, oh, that, that core, your back, don't arch it. Slowly lowering those elbows slightly past your shoulder, not for much, too much further. Whoa. Yeah. Let's do two. Oh, let's do one. Oh my God. Wow. I know it's killer for me. So, so now you have, we're gonna go to single leg RDL, one minute each leg. Now you have an option. If you're working your left leg, you can have the weight in your right hand and just stay on one side if you want, all right? Otherwise, grab both weights, heavy as you can go. You'll have about 10 seconds to transition before we change legs. All right, so we got one leg. I'm gonna start with my left leg as my mover, right leg will be up. Here we go. Now, if you want to count, you can, so you can try to match what you're doing on one side to the other but I really want you to focus on your form. So if counting is gonna take you away from that, just stay with your, your movers. Oh my goodness, all right, you're halfway now. Put the toe down behind you lightly if you need that stability. But the name of the game here is instability. You're firing up that leg, up. And balance work is one of the most essential exercises that every single one of us needs. Oh, finish up one more. Oh, okay. So, if you felt it back here into your glute, when, when? If you felt it predominantly in your back, maybe you were hinging forward like that and using your back as a mover. You wanna hinge and use the back of that leg. All right, pick up your weights. Go on the other side. Feel free to message me if you felt something that you shouldn't have. Here we go. Now, note to self, people. One side of your body is easier than the other. So if you're feeling more unstable, but one side seems easier, one side seems harder. It's not your imagination. That means you're really dialed into your body. Come on. Your abs, I can't even tell you how hard they are working for you. You're halfway now. The head stays in line with your neck. Don't let that, those weight float too far forward. It's okay if you're wobbly, as long as you're not spending more time wobbling than you are getting work done. So plant that toe and feel it, you'll still get the benefits. You've got one more. Oh my God, that was brutal. so sweaty. All right, towel off, guys. Grab some water. How you doing? Was it intense for you? All right. It really got me, my heart rate going. All right, so we're going to switch gears. You're going to grab your band. And actually, you're going to need one hand weight. So I'm actually going to grab my skinny band. Now, if you only have one band, that's fine. If you don't have a band, that's fine, too. All right, so here's what we got. We're gonna grab that band, and I'm gonna loop it around my legs. All right, so this guy is not my normal band. He's a lot tighter than what I'm used to. So I'm gonna grab a 15 pounder here. I'm gonna go into a goblet squat, and I'm gonna alternately lift a leg to the side. I'm not gonna be able to go very far. It all depends upon the tension in your band. So feet are shoulder width apart. 
here we go. Oh. That is as high as I can go. Keep going. Breathe. You got two more after this. Woo! Nice. All right, now get rid of that weight. So we're going to walk out. You're going to give me 10 toe t uh, leg taps to the side. You're going to give me 10 leg lifts, just like we did in our warm up. You're going to inchworm back, and then I'll take it from there. Band or no band. Here we go, walk it out. All right, shoulder width, here we go, tap it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tuck that booty, 10, lift 10, nine, eight, leave with your heel, seven, brace those abs, six, come on, five, four, three, yeah, two, and one. Now walk yourself back up. Now, you have options. You can give me squats here. You can give me squat with an alternating leg lift or just leg lifts, or you can give me press out legs, okay? Kind of like a star jack, just with the legs. 10, you pick your poison. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, yep. Three, two, uh, one. Into our mouth. You can repeat that again. Let's go. All right, plank taps to the side. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Come on. Six, five, four, three, two. Really push with that leg. One. Now lift. Ten, nine. Squeeze your glutes and quads. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way out. All right. Widen that stance as wide as you can go. Jacks, squats, lifts, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, push away. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One more round. So you may be saying, you know, kids, I don't feel this. You don't have to feel it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, ten lifts. Ten, nine. Think about what you're doing. Eight, come on. Seven, six, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. And warm it back. All right. So we're going to supersize these. You got 20. Whatever you chose. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's soft. Five. Six, seven, push away, use those back legs. Eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, get rid of your band. Oh, no, don't get rid of your band. Pick up your weight. We're gonna go back to those goblets with the leg lifts, 30 of them. So if you're banned, you need to take it off, take it off. Man, my heart rate was high. All right, here we go, alternating sides for 30. Here we go. One, two, three, outer thigh, four, five, yep, six, come on. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Here's your last set of 15. 15, 14, 13, yeah? 12, 11, oh my goodness. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, holy moly, 4, Three, two, one. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. All right, let's go to release here. Ah, switch it out. Nice work, guys. Grab some water, towel off. I am just totally dripping. All right, I want you to grab a band. I'm gonna go with my wider band. We are actually, excuse me, gonna be working some arms now. So you can easily do this with your band. I'll show you. So you're gonna start with some triceps. All right, so I'm gonna come a little closer here. So you take one hand, you're gonna glue it. All right, you're just gonna hold it to the side. This arm you're gonna press back as a tricep. Now, depending upon the tension of your band, it may not go very far. All right, so I just want you to focus on the extension, pressing back. All right, here we go. You can stagger your stance if you want to kind of lean into it. Here we go, press. Come on. Another set of 10. 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, good work. Five, four, three, two. Now you're gonna hold it small. Eensy, weensy, pulses. Tricep, baby, yeah. Oh, go, abs in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, so if you had your resistance tube, you did the exact same way. All right, just the tube's in a little bit longer. All right, we're switching sides. Tuck it in, grasp it up, pull back, slightly stagger your stance if you want. 20, here we go. One, two, three, four, bend and extend. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, come on now, 5, 4, 3, 2, you're going to hold the last one, hold, small, 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 come on, keep that tricep tight, keep that band taut, come on, strong, relax your shoulders, 10, 9, 8, 7, hello, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Oh my word. Woo, hot. Good news is we're done with that. Bad news is we're gonna target the tricep again in a different way. All right, so instead of coming down and away, we're gonna go up and away. All right, so starting from square one, tuck it in, elbows lifted. You're gonna do the same thing you did at the bottom, only this time you're just gonna extend and press. Same concept, here we go. Taut. Five, six, seven, eight. Good work. Nine, ten. Fully extend. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You got this. Eighteen, nineteen. Hold. Pulse it. Small bends and press and press and press. Come on. Grimace if you need to. Show me teeth. Come on, last set here of 10, 9, 8, come on, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo, getting some microscopic tears in our triceps, which is how our muscles rebuild. All right, let's do the other side. Give me a smile, all right? Here we go, lock and load, elbow up. Here we go. Keep that elbow, just extend it. Three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got this. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep the elbow up. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Fully extend. Hold it. Small, small. 
get deep into that heart, tricep. Oh, hey, B, squeeze it. Mm, mm, 10, nine, yes, eight, seven, six, keep going, five, four, three, two, oh my God, one. Oh. Now, if you felt that elsewhere than your tricep, you might have felt a little bit in your shoulder, but let me just tell you something. If you feel something, a tricep exercise predominantly in an area other than your tricep, then you're focusing or your form or you're too tense. All right, so you always want to make sure other body parts are relaxed and you're really focusing on that task at hand. All right, because neck can get involved in tricep work when we're doing extensions. All right, so now we're going to take our band or your tubing. We're going to bring it overhead. We're going to go into some lat pulls. All right, so I'm going to actually come down onto my knees here. All right, so you can really see it. My palms are away from my hands. Now, if you have your resistance tubing, it's going to look like this. We're going to lead with the elbows, pull it back, and lift. I'm actually just going to stand back. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. So my back, squeezing my shoulder blades straight down. Huh. Now, I want you to think of the shoulders pulling down. I want you to think of the elbows leading. I want you to think of your shoulder blades squeezing. Excellent. Eight more. This is a great back exercise. Six. Five. Keep it taut. Four. Pull it down. Three. Got it. Two. Now hold it here. Small. Small, small, small. You should look like a goalpost here. Uh, uh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Put the band in both hands. Now, if you don't have a a tubing or something that you can loop. All right, you can take your tubing and hold it, but keep it taut. So uh, taut. All right, so we're just going to go into uh, pulses. You're going to come up out to the uh, forehead, pulse down. Small. All right, keep going. Yeah. Mm hmm Beautiful. Now, I want you just to focus here. Tighten those arms. Five, four, three, two, center. Small. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, Two, right by that forehead. Press. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mm. So, shoulders, biceps, lats, all of them were working for you. Big shoulders, all right. Nice and strong. Now, before we take it down to the mat and finish with some bridging and with some chest and abs, we are going to fit, do a small little finisher here. Pull back. So remember when we did, I showed you those windmills. So grab some water real fast. I'm going to demo here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a ladder. You're going to do a snatch, a clean and press. One. Then you're going to go into a windmill. So in motion, it's going to look like this. I'm going to use my 15. All right, so I'm going to come up. Feet are slightly turned. I'm going to look at that weight. I'm going to come down, pop that hip, come back up. Now, this might not be right for you. So I'd rather see you do this, switch the hands, and give me one right there. Notice my arm and the weight I'm in a straight line, straight down. Pop that hip. You can be here. You can be here. If you have the weight in your hand, it cannot be doing this. 
All right, so you're gonna do right side one, windmill. Left side one, windmill, all right? So we're gonna do this together. If I'm going too fast for you, you slow it down or don't concentrate on the number, just do it. All right, so it's gonna be one snatch, one windmill. We'll switch it to the other side, one snatch, one windmill. All right, three, two, one. Snatch it up, remember those toes? Hike it up, push that hip out, down, up, lower it down, switch hands. Hup, windmill, watch your toes, flare them. Hinge, look at the weight. Come on up, beautiful. Now you got two snatch, two windmills. Other side, one. Hold it up here, two, turn those feet towards the side, uh, head up, pop that hip, one. Control's the name of the game. Two, I don't remember, did I do two snatches? I don't remember now, lower. So remember, switching it to that bottom hand if you need to. All right, here we go, two snatches. Up, one, up, two, turn your feet slightly. One. Two, do not rush it, but always keep your eye on the prize. You got three. Come on, one. Two, so I'm gonna do the switcheroo here and bring that weight here and I'm gonna do three. Three. Two. A one. So if you have to take that level, do it. All right. Going into those snatches on the other side. One. Mm, two. Three. Slightly pivot those toes. Push that hip out. Three. Two. One. We're on fours. So we're getting close, guys. Here we go. Up. Four. Three. Up. One, two. And one. Here we go. Pop the hip. Four. Three. Two. Oh, yeah. Up. Woo. Can you say hi to your obliques? Here we go. Other side. Four. Four. Three. Two, woo, one, come on. Turn those toes slightly, pop the hip. Four, you'll notice three, one side is difficult than the other. Two, remember your goal is to go, woo, your goal is to go with your own flexibility and mobility. Last five, I'm watching a frog in my window while he's climbing. All right, five, here we go. Five. Four, up, three, two, hold it, flip those toes, hike that hip, here we go, five, four, oh, it's getting hard for me to stabilize, three, two, up. oh, Ah, five snatches, other side. Let's go. Five. Four. Three. Two. Woo! Here we go. Flare those toes. Hike your hip. Five. Four. Three. Oh. Oh. Two. One, wow, woo, if you hung with those high fives. Now, if you chose to do those body weight, that's even great. All right, it's not an easy move. All right, guys, here's what I want you to do. I want you to meet me on the floor. Now, we're going to finish up on the floor. All right, so let me see what time this time is. All right, so here's what I want. Um, let's grab our... Um, Let's grab a band. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my wider band. Oh, I'm gonna need some weights here. All right, so I'm gonna grab a heavy set because we're just gonna be doing chest here. So here's what I want. No band to start off with. 
So we're going to bring the flats of our feet together. You're going to walk them in. You're going to keep your head down, shoulders pushed down into the mat. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to stay into a frog bridge, lifting, and you're going to give me chest flies right here into that bridge. All right, then we're going to go into a lower and a lift with a crush curl, meaning you're going to push the weights into each other as you press up and down. All right, so here we go. Frog bridge. Walk the feet in. Let the knees flap open. Shoulder blades pressed into the floor, head down. All right, back is flat if you can. Here we go. Lift into your bridge. You're going to hold here, so get comfy. Here we go. Strong. You got 20. Come on. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your inner thighs. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten to go. Stay with it. Ten. Don't let your booty drop. Nine. Yeah. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, uh, three, two. Now you're going to hold this last one. Hold it. Squeeze those glutes. Pulses. Ha. Huh. Three, four, five. Now you're not pulsing your, your thighs or your butt. Just the arms. Six, seven, eight. You're an isometric hold. Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, all right, now crush curls. Lower your booty. So when you come up, you're going to press the weights up, and then you come down, you come down. Crush it. One, two, three, four. Come on. Five, six, oh, seven. Push the weights together. Eight, nine, 10 left, 10, 9, 8, you got this, 7 strong, 6, breathe, 5, 4, squeeze, 3, 2, you're going to hold those weights, hold them, squeeze, pulse those bridges, go, strong, yes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Carefully bring your weights down. Push them off to the side. Ooh, hug your knees in. Ha. All right, take your band. Ha. I think I'll go with my dot my Y1 here. All right, so we're just going to go into a quick leg. Finish with a quick ab. We stretch. How about it? All right, so. Ooh, so this band isn't that tight. It's not my normal band. I left my normal bands in Florida, so. Um, I have to use what I got. All right, so here's what we got. You're going to bring your legs up in line with your hips. Your head is down. Flexing your heels. You're going to press out and release. Now, I want to keep tension on that band. So you don't want to come all the way in to release it. So you want to keep it taut. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Flex your heels. Seven. Six. Slight bend in your knees. Five. Four. Three. Two. And hold on. Ten. Now pulse it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, in out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold. Pulse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it. Pulse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Come on, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last 20 pulses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug it in. All right, keeping that band or losing it, we're going to go to one ab and we stretch. So we're going to come into a reverse. We're going to tuck it in. 
you're gonna press it out, you're gonna press the legs out, come back in, and tuck. All right, so you can easily do this low no band, and you can also go higher to the sky to make it a little bit easier. Here we go, tuck, press, out, in. Tuck, extend, out, in. Three, out, in. Four, out, in. Five, out, in. Six, come on, really tuck here. Seven, oh, this is seven, here we go. Here's eight, eight, nine, ten. Now just the tucks, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it here, hollow hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stance, drop one knee and oh, and mole. Yeah. Whew. I lift it up. How you breathing? I'm just feeling how good it feels to be done right now. All right, one more each way. Perfect. And release it. Nice work. All right. If you have a band handy or a band, a uh, foam roller, grab it. All right. We're just a little on top of it. If you don't have a foam roller, I just want you to give me just a stretch here like that and then switch sides. All right. So lay onto your foam roller right by your knees. Just going to go into some hamstring curls. You can cross your ankles if you want. Just roll and press. So you're putting tension into the roller through uh, the manipulation of your lower body and upper body arms. Nice. Now I want you just to take your body to one side. All right. So you're just going to kind of manipulate. Keep one leg on the ground and you're going to rock back and forth. You're going to kind of move around and I want you to kind of feel an area. If you find an area that feels a little lumpy or tender or sore, I want you to stay in that neck of the woods and just kind of rock yourself forward and back or roll it up and down. So you want to kind of go from the side of your hip all the way up to the center till you find that area. Hone in on that area. Yes. Ideally, you want to stay here for about 20, 30 seconds. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna roll on over to the other side. I'm hoping you guys can see me here. All right, so I'm just gonna manipulate here my feet. So I'm using my feet to kind of add some resistance to give me some manipulation I'm using my arms. I'm finding an area, so I'm rocking from the front to side, kind of the meaty part of my thigh, hip, feeling where I feel that area and then just honing in in that little lumpy, bumpy spot. I can feel the tension, I can feel the tightness. We're gonna follow this up with some hamstrings. So we're doing the uh, quad here a little bit. A little bit of a hip flexor. Awesome, all right, let's take it. And we're gonna sit on top of our foam roller. Again, if you don't have a foam roller, you can just give me some figure four stretches here. All right, so here's what I want. We are going to roll forward here. So the, the, we're gonna take that band, or roll it towards our knees and come back. So you're just gonna use your body as a little bit of a weight here, forward and back, just kind of getting a range of motion. Awesome, all right, now we're gonna hone into one side. So you can take your leg behind or you can take it over and you're just going to kind of turn yourself a little bit towards that leg and you're gonna roll back and forth until you feel an area in that hamstring hip flexor area that you need to manipulate and find and roll back and forth. 
So you don't want to just, you, you want to roll forward and back, but you also want to roll side to side. All right. So this is kind of a really condensed version of some of these stretches. You know, you can easily hang and do these again. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh. Awesome work. Good news about a foam roller, as I've said this many times, you can do it before you work out, you can do it after you work out, you can do it an hour before bed, you can do it anytime you want. All right, manipulate it out. All right. So you're concentrating on the back and into the side. So find that manipulation point on the back of that hamstring from those RDLs, kind of roll into it, and then kind of manipulate onto that hip flexor, onto that side. Oh yeah, you'll know it when you feel it. Huh. When we do foam rolling, we do want to make sure we hydrate afterwards because it's very similar to a massage. Anytime you've gotten a massage, I always tell you to hydrate a lot afterwards, so you really want to do that regardless. However, you're going to need to hydrate anyway after all the work you did in your workout. Nice work, you guys. All right, let's come off the foam roller. Let's carefully come up to a standing position. All right, so we're just going to go into some overhead stretches. If you have your roller, fine. If not, just something like this. We're just going to turn to the right to the side. Oh, yeah. Stretching it out. Six, five, four, three, two. And one, take it side to side. Nice. Two more, one each way. Awesome work. Bring that, um, those arms up overhead. Let's just slightly tilt it back. Let the foam roller kind of pull you back. Feel a stretch in your chest and shoulders. Would have loved to have done a little foam roller stretch with this, but I don't want to take any more time out of your day. Excellent, bring it in. Woo, all right, just give me some pivots here, side to side. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So let's just go into some big rolls. Four, three, two, one, reverse. Four, three, two, one. Just bring that foam roll out in front of you. Just gonna go into a quick, stretch here. Not only will this feel good for the back of your legs, but if you let that head flap through, you're going to feel your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, everything. And come on up. Let's do a quick tricep stretch. And the other side. Perfect. Let's flip flop those arms with those biceps. Press. Press, really reach in that position. Four, three, two, and one. Shrug it and release. Shrug it and release. Last one. Big inhale. Perfect job. And all the way up, guys. Heart center. Wow, you guys really knocked it out of the park today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you worked hard. Hope you felt every muscle group. Let me know how you did. Send me some feedback. Um, hydrate. More stretching if you need it. Remember, if you do a heavy strength ray one day, you should take it down a notch the next day. Okay, it shouldn't be another strength ray. Core workout, cardio, walking, something like that. All right, you guys, have a great day. Stay well. See you soon.